Greetings, welcome to this new video about super mesh analysis. In the last examples, we performed the mesh current analysis when the current source is present in a separated mesh. The current source was not shared by two meshes. In this video, we are going to perform or to apply the mesh analysis when the current source is shared by two meshes. The mesh analysis in this scenario is known as super mesh analysis. Firstly, I will explain the meaning of the super mesh and then we will do an example to understand how to perform the super mesh analysis. Super mesh is a loop when a current source is present between two meshes. We remove the branch having the current source and then the remaining loop is known as super mesh. This is a straightforward method. So there is no need to further explanation and you will understand it in much better way when you solve some example. Let's move on to the example. Given the electric circuit with R1 4 ohms, R2 to 10 ohms, R3 5 ohms and R4 2 ohms. And we have two voltage sources V1 15 volt, V2 10 volt and the current source IS is equal to 3 amps. The question now is to find the value of the current I. The current I is the current through the resistor R4. In the solution, we will proceed with the same steps we have used in mesh analysis. The first step is to, de defi to define the number of meshes. In this network, we have two meshes. This is, is mesh 1 and this is, is mesh 2. This step number 2 we assign the mesh currents. I1 is the current in mesh 1 and I2 is the current in mesh 2. Both currents are chosen in the clockwise direction. We go now to step 3. If we apply KVL in mesh 1 we have negative V1 plus R1 I1 plus R2 I1 so we don't know the voltage across the current source IS. Also, we will face the same problem in mesh 2. Therefore, we can complete KVL equation. Now, to perform the analysis, we will remove the current source. So we entirely removed this branch. After we do that, we have a new network which called super mesh. Now we will apply KVL in the super mesh. We obtain negative V1 plus R1 I1 plus R2 I1 plus R3 I2 plus R4 I2 plus V2 is equal to zero. By replacing the current, the, the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values, we obtain negative 15 plus 4 I1 plus 10 I1 plus 5 I2 plus 2 I2 plus 10 is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 5 plus 14 I1 plus 7 I2 is equal to 0. And I will call this equation 1. Until now we have one equation and two unknowns. In order to get the second equation, focus on the current source IS. We can write IS is equal to I2 minus I1. That means I2 minus I1 is equal to 3 amps. And I will call this equation 2. We only still need to solve those two equations in order to find I1 and I2. Let's start first with equation 1 plus 14 times equation 2 we obtain 21 I2 is equal to 47. That means I2 is equal to 47 over 21 is equal to 2.238 amps. It's almost 2.24. And we can see here that uh, the current I is equal to the, car the mesh current I2. That means I is equal to I2 is equal to 2. 24 amps. 
After completing the calculation, we conduct a simulation using SPICE to verify our results. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. Here is the search done by SPICE. We can see here that V1 and V2 is equal to 15 and 10 volt and we have our current source IS is equal to 3 amps and R1, R2, R3 and R4. Let's go to analysis. This say analysis calculation of nodal voltages. We can see here that the current I2 is equal to the current I is equal to 2.24 amps. This value is exactly the same value we have done by calculation. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. Have a nice time and see you next time in another video about super mesh analysis. Take care and bye bye.